Nice little George Lake smallmouth. Not huge, but first thing in the morning, a lot of fun. Quick and dirty drop shot setup with an X-Zone slammer. You won't find a better bait. This one's a bit bigger. See if I can get him coming up beside the boat. It's a lake trout. Now these are off limits in George Lake, so I'm going to have to put it back, but I will get a record for the, uh, for the folks at the office. If I can get all this in, I can't. <laughs> 24 inches from fork to the tip of the mouth. George Lake, Lake Trout. Nice. Let's get you back. Oh, by the way, that lake trout was uh, on an X-Zone slammer again. Drop shotting for smallmouth, you get a lake trout instead. Don't you just hate it when that happens? This is more like it. This is a brute, an absolute brute. Okay, about 22 inches, and he's feisty. Okay, that, that is the kind of smallmouth you can get in George Lake. Look at the size of this thing, beauty. bit of artificial respiration and he's gone wow
What a fish. Dolomites tenebrosus, dock spider. That's not the biggest one I've ever seen. Another George Lake smallmouth has fallen victim to the X zone slammer. And he just broke it right off. That was a huge one. Wow. I'm going to put this bag in, see if I can get him again and get my lure bag. Still trying to find the big ones that I know were in here, but hey, these are still fun. Seriously, I've got to go back to this. But the X Zone Slammer wins again. This feels like a fair size. Broke off. left me the slammer. That's a sad day. My faithful old Shimano FX2652A has bit the dust. She's uh, been through a lot of tough times, a lot of good times. Gotta happen sooner or later. Oh well. The reel's still good. Shimano R2000. I'll switch her on to another small, lightweight rod. Keep on using it. Ah, my old friend. Another little tiddler. slammers. You just can't resist them. This is the view from our front yard at Killarney. Might help you understand why we love this park so much. I'm going to head down to the porch and enjoy my morning tea.
This is the white quartz of the Lacloche Mountains. When they were at their tallest, they would have rivaled the Rockies, but then two things conspired to cut them down. First of all, the area became more geologically stable. The tectonic activity that formed them ceased. And then successive waves of glaciers came, carved them down to their present day size. But they're still beautiful. Let's head back to the estate, shall we?